Hey, it's your boy. Welcome back once again to the vanilla level 9 contest entries. On to this level. The Bowser statues can be activated by hitting them from below. This level is very interesting. I, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but it does. So if you have these Bowser statues, they don't do anything until you hit them. And then they uh, awaken. And it confuses my brain space, and I'm not quite sure how it works. But uh, then it allows you to get here, and you can't take P-switches through things because they just pop. So uh, that is something to be aware of in this game. Because the P-switches do just pop if you uh, try and take them through doors. But, anyway, yeah, so that's the whole premise of uh, this level, is uh, the Bowser statues that uh, activate on touch. Very unique, uh, unique, unique thing. And, oh yeah, I remember that one's kind of a pain to get. But I did it with relative ease, which... Not going to lie, surprises me. But, uh, yeah. Very, I don't know, it's... I, I don't think I've ever seen that work before. Like, how, how that works. Also, I don't remember... I got that once. I don't remember if... Yeah, that's how you do it. You can say, I don't remember if it was the P-Switch or not. But, it was. And that was shenanigans right there. And I will not stand for shenanigans. Okay, well, as you can see, there's the springboard up there. Fudging fudge sigils. I'm playing bad. I am... I may have had a little bit to drink, so my playing ability is subpar at the moment. I will not lie about that. Very, very subpar. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember how to do this. You hit him. So you hit the statue, and then you bounce. And the background completely disorients you. Also, you need, uh, need the bouncy pad here. And I think this is a reset. No, that's the uh, midway point. But I don't remember what was down the, uh... Let me just go back really quick, because I don't... I don't fully remember. Um, because I want to say this just drops you back where you're supposed to be, and the door itself is kind of like a reset or something of that nature. But if you take the uh, springboard with you, you can just go up here. You don't need the uh, blocky blocks. Yeah, that, that's what I remember. I'm just... <laughs> yeah, stuff and things, and things and stuff, and me playing subparly. As I said, I am not of the fully right mindset. Not only have I had a tad bit, not even that much, just slightly enough, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Uh, I'm also deliriously tired, as I touched on in the last episode, because guess what? The last episode and this episode are right near each other. Also, I don't think... Yeah, I was going to say, that's nothing. This, however... This... Uh, really bugged the crap out of me. Because, one, you can do that. But then it's like, ah, now I can't do anything. Well, no, you do this. Um... Actually, getting that jump with the fire really bugged me for a while because I had such a hard time. Um, I call shenanigans there. There we go. But yeah, I had such a hard time making that jump, and I have no idea really why I had such a hard time doing it. But I did. Also, if you have a cape, you can just fly up here. Which is so much fun. And almost make it up there. If you have the uh, red switch, though, you can uh, fly. 
Even without the red switch, you can just fly. Look at me, I'm breaking the level. Yeah, not, not really supposed to do this. And I don't fault the creator of it at all because obviously I am intentionally doing stuff to uh, cause havoc and misfortune to this level. But yeah, that's the level. Very unique. I don't think, I've never actually seen that Bowser statue thing used before and I'm kind of wondering how it works because I haven't actually opened the level to take a look. Anyway, this has been Ninja Boy and I will be back later with the next level. See you guys then.